Good afternoon, Boutwell's Landing. Uh, I just wanted to say hello. My name is Corey, and I'm excited to be talking about sports talk with Corey today. And I hope I hope everybody's having a good afternoon or morning, whenever this is being seen. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'd like to talk uh, a little bit about baseball today uh, to start off with. Um, there was some news that uh, the MB, uh, the Players Association decided not to uh, take the latest contract proposal uh, as far as the uh, as the uh, baseball season was going to start. I guess the the players said no to uh, the owners were offering some share revenue and the the players said no they want more they want more revenue. So they have decided not to play yet, and there has not been a tentative date on when that's going to start. So we're waiting to hear from the players union to see what they're going to do and, and how this is going to proceed. But uh, it's not looking good right now. So let's hope uh, the players will say, okay, you know, we're going to take this. But you got to remember during the, uh, you know, since we have coronavirus going on, you know, a lot of players are nervous about, getting on the field with other players and having to possibly wear a mask while they're out there and you know it's it's a it's a dicey situation so i'm praying that they can they can get it together so we can all see some baseball we really need some sports right now going on right now everything has been pretty pretty quiet so um i'll keep you updated on that as far as i know there's there's it's been pretty quiet as of today as i last checked so i'm constantly checking and watching for you guys to see what the latest news is so i'm hoping we get baseball so um as far as uh the nba goes um the nba is going to resume they have decided they're going to uh, play their games in orlando i believe they're going to play at disney world and a lot of the uh uh players are ready to go but they i heard as of late today there was about there was a teleconference call with the owners and about 40 or 50 players were really apprehensive about getting on the court as you know with coronavirus again you don't want to get too close to people without proper protection so i guess the, some of the players are really really worried about how this the rest of the season uh, how the rest of the playoffs and season are going to go they're only going to play they're, they're only going to play eight games and then they're going to go into the playoffs so it's 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 kind of a dicey situation i last heard that that some of the players did may not want to come you know and i guess the nba is not gonna you know find them or you know tell them they have to go this is going to be on your own so we'll see how that goes i mean a lot of the players said they want to play but it just depends on which player it is and who who makes the the team, you know who makes the playoffs and so forth like that. Because if you have a team that's not making the playoffs, what's what's the sense in having their players out there and risking their players getting sick? So we'll see we'll see how that goes. I'm I'm optimistic that we'll get this show on the road. I'm ready for basketball. I'm ready for all that. So that's what's going on basketball. So. We're going to talk about the Minnesota Vikings today for a couple minutes. Um, as I don't know if you guys have heard, but they're kind of the, there's kind of a stalemate between the Vikings and Dalvin Cook, who's our run, who's a, the running back for the Vikings. His contract is up in a year or two, and he wants a a, a bigger contract. So, of course, you know, as as a player, you always want to get extra money and guaranteed money. And I believe that uh, right now. He was talking yesterday like he was going to hold out, but I heard today that his representative said he may not hold out because right now he doesn't have any leverage in this situation because if not, they're going to they're going to they're going to uh franchise tag him next year to keep him there. So I'm hoping that cooler heads will prevail and he'll get a deal done cuz I I I think we really need him. He's a good player for us and we need to have him here. So I'm hoping they can come to an agreement and get that going. So um, any other football, any other football news, there's nothing really going on. Training camps and, I mean, stuff are going to be opening up on time, as they say, and I believe we're going to get the September go. So by September for the regular season game, I think we will be, uh, good to go. There's just some fine tuning and some things going on. So we'll see how that goes. Um, as far as, again, as far as college news, um, as we heard, football is going to be starting again and, um, We'll get that going, uh, you know, as I think facilities are going to be opening up next week or the week after to get training camps going. I'm not sure if they're opened up yet or not, so I haven't heard anything. So I, I'm anticipating that to get started and and stuff like that. Uh, on uh, So on 
I believe they're going to be able to practice a certain number of days, you know, leading up to the season. I, I don't know how long their training camp's going to be. I think they were talking about maybe six weeks or something like that before the season started. So we'll see. You know, usually around September, you know, usually end of August, September, we usually get, get caught, you know, we get games starting. So we'll see how that goes. So um, that's what's going on with that. Um, any other news I wanted to talk about? Um, let's see. I'm just trying to think. Um, there hasn't really been too much other stuff other than the, you know, the football and the basketball and and the college football. We're still trying to get things going. As again, as you know, the coronavirus is kind of you know making the sports world. So everybody's trying to be careful and you know stay safe and stay healthy. And you know, like I said earlier, a lot of the players are worried about their families. You know, I think that's for both sports. You know, how how is it going to be run? How long are they going to have to stay? Because if, you know, again, if basketball starts down in Florida at Disney World, they're not going to be able to leave the facility. They're going to have to stay on the on the campus. So they're not going to be able to leave to see their family. They're not going to be able to visit anybody. They're not going to be able to do stuff. So that's a long stretch by the, by the you know, by the imagination. It's a real, real strong stretch. So we'll see what happens. You know, again, I'm, I'm anxious. I'm, I want to get things going as much as anybody else does. I'm just, I'm ready for sports. So, um, today, I mean, before I, before I leave with you guys today, um, somebody asked me, I, I've been getting a lot of questions about my shoes and, and, and as someone was looking at some pictures, I just want to share with you at some point, I don't know if it's going to be this show, but there will be pictures of me being featured after I speak with you about my basketball experiences. Some, some of them are my shoes. So you'll see a, a, a lot of room full of shoes. So I don't want you to be surprised because I am a shoes enthusiast and, and everybody at Botwell's here knows that I love shoes. So it, you don't be surprised when you see the pictures, but I did uh, submit some pictures and Patty staff and everybody who's associated with, with that will put them up there so you guys can see them as well. I'd like to share and share my best, share my basketball experiences with you as we talk about sports too. So I also wanted to say at, um, at any time, um, we were going to do a suggestion box. We decided not to do that. So if you have any questions, you can call Patty at star five, seven, five, zero and, and ask your question and I'll, and show and show send it to me and I'll be happy to answer your question because I'm you know I, I think I'm pretty knowledgeable about certain things and sports and how things go so again that's far, uh, star five seven five zero okay uh star star so oh, oh 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 I could do that too I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> yep you, you can do that too I'm sorry so you can uh, that's the number star seven five uh, star five seven five zero is the is the extension and you can ask your question so that's good Yep. So I just wanted to say, again, it's been a pleasure to be able to do these series of sports talks, you know, for 10, 15 minutes at the most. I appreciate you watching me. I appreciate your, your support and I really enjoy doing this. So I just wanted to tell you, thank you again for watching and I hope to be with you again next week. With that, you take care. This has been Sports Talk with Corey. I'm going to sign off and have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.